Hai there, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my video You are with Mr. Fauzan And in this video, you are going to watch discussions from workbook 4B, page 119 until 124 As you know, our topic is still area and perimeter of square and rectangle Well, let's begin Bismillah Okay, question 1A. You have the rectangle with the length 7 cm and the breadth or width 4 cm. You need to find out the perimeter. To find the perimeter, we just add all sides. That means 7 plus 4 plus 7 plus 4. When you add them together, we got as 22 cm. Okay. The next question is, there is a square with side 6 cm. You also need to find its perimeter. The perimeter of square is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. As you know, there are 4 times 6. That means 4 times 6 is equal to 24 cm. Note down that the perimeter of square can be found by multiplying side with 4. Okay, next question, number 2. We have the perimeter is equal to 32 cm and we have the breadth, it is 5 cm. We need to find out the length. Now, let's do it in two steps. Step 1, divide perimeter by 2. That is 32 divided by 2, which is equal to 16. Don't forget, we have to subtract it with the breadth. That is 16 minus 5, which is equals to 11. That means the length of the rectangle is equals to 11 cm. You got it? Now let's move on to the next page. 120. We have rectangle with perimeter 24 cm and the length is equals to 9 cm. What is the breadth? Let's do it the same way with the previous number. Step 1. Divide perimeter with 2. 24 divided by 2 is equals to 12. Don't forget to subtract with the length. That is 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 cm. So we got it. The breadth of the rectangle is equal to 3 cm. Let's cross check if you're not sure. And this is very important for you to do it if it is during the test or in the future. We have the length as 9 cm and the breadth as 3 cm. We need to find the perimeter. That means 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3. When we add them together, we got 24. Ding ding! Got it. Alhamdulillah. Okay, next question, number 4. The perimeter is 20 cm. In a square, to find the side, we divide the perimeter by 4 because in square there are 4 equal sides. So, length of one side is equal to 20 divided by 4. That is equals to 5 cm. Okay, question number 5. The perimeter is 636 cm. So, that means the same way with this, yeah? Yeah, we have to divide it by 4. It's equals to 9 cm. Alhamdulillah, you have done page 120. Let's move on. 121 already been discussed. It's now 122. We have a square with area 64 square cm. What is the side? Mm -hmm, don't worry. To find side, we need to find the number. When multiplied by itself, it becomes 64 or yeah, the area, whatever it is. So let's try from 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, etc. Until 6 times 6, it is 36, not 64. 7 times 7, it is 49. Aha! Uh -huh. If we multiply 8 times 8, we got it equals 64 that means the length of one side is equals to 8 centimeter okay next question we have area is equals to 48 square centimeter and the length is 8 centimeter 
we need to find the breadth. So that means the breadth is area divided by length. 48 divided by 8. It is equals to 6 centimeter. And also, in question B, we need to find the perimeter. We already have length, we already have breadth. It is easy, just add them together. Length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. Or 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 is equals to 28 centimeter. You have another method? Go ahead, do it. 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. 2 times 8 is equals to 16. 2 times 6 is equals to 12. So 16 plus 12 is equals to 28 centimeter. You can do it in the that way. Okay, question in page 123. We have square with area 100 square centimeter. Now, let's find the side. We need to find a number when it multiplied by itself. It becomes 100. Mm -hmm. 1 times 1, 2 times 2. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your multiplication table. Since 10 times 10 is equals to 100, therefore, length of one side is equals to... That's it. 10 meter. We got the side. We, it's easy to find the perimeter. Just multiply it with 4. 4 times side. That is 4 times 10. It is equals to 40 meter. Next. There is a rectangle with perimeter equals to 38 meter. And the breadth is 7 meter. Just do it the same way. There are two steps. Step 1. Divide the perimeter by 2. That is 38 divided by 2. Let's check it out here. 38 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Minus it, we got 1. Bring down 8. The number becomes 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So 18 minus 18 is 0. There, there is no remainder. So 19 is the answer. And don't forget to subtract with the breadth. 19 minus 7 is 12. That means the length is equals to 12 meter. Don't get confused with the perimeter. The perimeter is already given here, 38. So we need to find the area that is length multiplied by breadth. That is 12 multiplied by 7. When you multiply them, you got 84 square meter. Easy? Alhamdulillah. Last question, page 124. We got a handkerchief in the form of square. The perimeter is 28 centimeter. Now, if the perimeter of the square is given, to find the length of one side, we just need to divide it by 4. That is 28 divided by 4. This equals to 7 centimeter. Yeah, we need to find the area now. Area is equals to side multiplied by side. This is the side, this is the side. 7 times 7 is equal to 49 square centimeter. Note the difference between perimeter and square in a square. Oh, sorry, perimeter and area. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. This is all. That's it. Don't forget to drop the comments and also like and subscribe this video. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you really soon.